So the use of control and tab within B1 uh, can be kind of useful. An example would be on a sales order. Just pull up a sales order here. When uh, in the item number of using control tab, it's going to give you some information about that item. So if they had alternative items available, uh, that's what this particular window is bringing up here. As we tab through and um, Oops, there we go. Unit price, we can pull that up. And what that's going to do is it's going to reflect the list prices report. So if uh, the prices have adjusted through time, you can kind of get a history of that, when those have occurred and what they were. So if a customer maybe is getting back with you saying, hey, you know, the price back at such a time was this. And then as we continue on, keep on tabbing over. And then the total, and then the warehouse is another one. You can do that within the control tab. And that's going to give you the availability of the stock in each one of those different warehouses you might have. So at a quick glance, let you know what that's for. So give that a try in different fields you're in when you're in, uh, say, a sales order, or even in some of your purchasing uh, uh, purchasing docs. And see what, um, you can, what type of information is quick and at hand just by doing control tab. All right, thanks.